Hey, what's going on YouTube? I just wanted to make a tutorial to show you how you can protect a worksheet and so people won't be able to edit the contents with any specific worksheet. Protect a workbook so people won't be able to make structural changes to the workbook such as moving around different sheets and adding new sheets and how you can even password protect an entire file so people will have to have a file just to open your Excel sheet. So first, let's go about showing you how to protect the worksheet. So under the review tab in the middle right, it's going to be under protect, there's going to be an option to protect a worksheet. So click this and then you just, this pop-up screen will show up. So you can, if you don't want to have a password to protect the worksheet, you can leave this blank. Um, but if you want the password, then in this situation we do, you can type your password which will then be needed to be able to edit the contents with any worksheet. Also, note that you can still allow users to do different tasks such as insert rows, insert columns, insert hyperlinks, delete rows, um, filter objects, sort. And so even if a worksheet is protected, users you can still make it where users will be able to do stuff um, in the worksheet. So click OK. And then now note, because I typed in a password, um, it says there's a pop-up that says confirm password and something that's very crucial is that if I lose or forget the password, it just simply cannot be recovered. Um, it's important to have some sort of way that this password is going to be kept. Some sort, uh, maybe we can have a copy of this file, have a copy of this data, um, maybe email yourself the password, but because if you lose it, then Excel can, won't be able to recover it. So then retyping the password. And then now, whenever I try to type in something, um, I get this pop-up that says the seller chart you're trying to change is going to protect the sheet. And then, but now I can go to, and because I only um, protected the individual worksheet, I can go to another worksheet and type whatever and, and type whatever I want. And nothing will impact be impacted on the sheet example and type whatever I want. I get this pop-up message. So to unprotect the sheet, I have to go to unprotect sheet and then um, I have to type in the password. So if I type in the wrong password, then I'll get this message. It says the password is applied is not correct. Make sure your caps lock is off. So now typing in the correct password, I can then go back and edit this sheet. So let's just say we want to prevent people from making structural changes to the workbook. So let's just say there, you know, we're like, we do not want anybody to add a worksheet to this workbook. Um, you can go through here and click protect workbook, which can be protected with a password as well. It doesn't have to protect it with a password, so you can leave this blank if you don't want it to be protected with a password. But if you want to password protect it, we can enter the password. And with similar with protecting the worksheet, if you lose a password, you're kind of toast. So making sure that you either keep the password on in the location or that you remember what it is. Um, so that way, so, so that way you will not lose a password because Excel won't be able to recover it. So retyping the password. And now, as you can see, whenever I try to create a new sheet, it doesn't, it doesn't let me. Um, and it, whenever I try to grab a sheet and move it over, it creates an error and gives me this little um, cancel sign as a mouse. So then to unprotect the sheet, I go back to review. Then it says protect workbook. I click that. And then if I enter in the wrong password, then I'll get this message that says a password that you supply is not correct. Make sure the caps lock is off and use correct capitalization. And if one to accept the changes to the workbook, I have to be able to type in the correct password. And now that I have the password typed in, I can go about making changes to the workbook itself. Um, there's adding sheets and moving them too. Let's just say I want it to have a worksheet with sensitive information and I don't want people to even be able to look at it without having a proper password. So to do this, I can go to file and then I can, then I can go to info. And then after clicking info at the top, it says, there, or it says protect workbook. And then after clicking protect workbook, you can have different options, so you can say, oh, always open it with read-only, encrypt with password, 
protect the current sheet, protect workbook structure, restrict access. So saying that people, um, only swift people can access the workbook, add a digital signature, and work as final. Um, and then in this situation though, I want to encrypt the workbook with a password. Now let's just say I type in the password again. Same thing, even if you encrypt the entire worker with, with the password, it you might not be able to view it unless you have the password. So click that. And then again, now the workbook is protected with a password. So let's just say I do file, save this workbook under video, for example. I click X. And then I go back to my files, good videos, date modified, book one. And as it starts to open, it says that I need a password just to open it up. And then if I type the wrong password again, it just simply won't let me be able to um, be able to get into the workbook and everything will be grayed out. So now going into the pass going into this again. If I type in the correct password, I will now be able to view and edit the information. But it's important to note that by encrypting the entire workbook with a password, that you won't even be able to view the password the worksheet unless you have a password. That being said, I hope that you found this tutorial to be helpful. And if you did, please like, subscribe, and comment. Let me know if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, and thank you so much for watching this video. Please let me know if you have any um, questions and have a great day.